Number eight, we have a public hearing for re revising the local law regarding the calculation of income for the purpose of a senior citizen, partial real property tax exemption, and the persons with disabilities and limited income, partial real property tax exemption. I, I approve a publication from Richard Keenan Legal Newspapers that notification was indeed published. And proof of posting from Tom Clerk, Tracy M. Cosman, the notice was posted on the board board at the proper time. Linda. The background on this exemption is basically that um, we're one of the few towns that does not deduct uh, prescriptions costs and uh, co-payment costs and mileage back and forth to the doctor or hospital. And uh, it would certainly aid these people being able to get a better level as their social security goes up, it bumps them into a higher level that the taxes wipe out any increase that they get. So this is just like giving them a, a, just a safety net so that they can at least keep what they've had. I highly recommend it. Thank you. Open the public hearing at this time and solicit some comments from those who are in favor. Do you have any name and address? Uh, that's the last thing. I'm definitely in favor of it. My age, I need to have what you can get. Thank you, Ann. Do you have any name and address, please? Appreciator 759, Street Department Hour Road. I'm definitely in favor. I've asked several years back why we haven't had that. So, thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else like to speak in favor? <clears throat> Would anyone like to speak in opposition? Yes, I would. Give me an address, please. I think that we should get our assessments all in line before we start giving more exemptions. So I think that though this is a good idea, you should wait. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak in opposition? I'll close the public hearing at this time. Solicit town board comments. <coughs> Motion. Well, Lois and I would like to make one comment here. Uh, this seems to help some of the things that the uh, um, the committee that was formed this last summer was concerned with. Some members of the committee were uh, very much concerned with the people who were going to um, be extremely affected. They're living in a camp on uh, retirement income and the houses coming up around them are, you know, uh, uh, much more expensive than what they, than the property they have, but their property value is increasing. And we have to get our data in line so that we can get um, equitable reassessments uh, all across the town. But some of these people, it, it'll be very difficult we don't want to legislate them out of their homes. So I, I'm very much in favor of this because um, I think this may help some of those folks. It's in the form of a motion? Sure. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Tarawacki? Yes. Mr. Ryba? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Dzinski? Yes. Number nine, discussion of fire department boundary lines. This is one of the things that came out of our fire department um, committee that we put together last January. Uh, one, of their, um, one of their projects was to look at any way that we could better serve the public, either be change a line, combine buying equipment, bid out your insurance that's burdened in and save $15,000, purchase trucks together. They were given numerous things to look at. Unfortunately, we didn't hear a lot of things from a lot of the departments. We did get input. I was hoping for a little bit more. Um, I think in the future, um, all our fire departments are probably going to work a lot closer together. But there was one interesting meeting that I did go to at Cisco Firehouse with Mr. Humel sitting in the back. Um,